all launches are important to BMW, but of course, once every seven years, we launch the new 7 Series. This is our flagship. This takes the next step in innovation and technology that ultimately will filter its way down into other parts of the BMW range, and in some instances, into the automotive industry uh, as a whole. On this car that you see behind me, we have 13 world firsts, never been seen on any other car anywhere else in the world. And that, I think, tells you the capabilities and the importance of such a car to us as a company, but also to the industry. This is a 7 Series launch. It's an international launch, so here we are in New York, but today we're out at the racetrack of Monticello, so we can actually put the car through its paces, and of course you can drive in this beautiful countryside and really get a good feel for what the car is capable of. The attendance of the media are international. We have the United States, but we also have Canada, we have South America, uh, we have even India and Australia. It makes uh, perfect sense to introduce the new 7 Series here in the United States, as the United States is one of the two biggest markets in the world. And it even makes more sense to introduce it here in the greater New York area, as New York is one of our biggest markets in the United States. The new BMW 7 Series is very important to us, of course, because it is the flagship. This car is particularly important to us because it's really the first time that we address the 7 Series as a symbol of modern luxury. Really, the driving idea has really been this obsession with, with detail. If you look at the front, first the kidneys, they're not only very present, very proud, but it's the first time that we actually do kidneys that open and close. We managed to do the Hofmeister kink in one piece for the first time on a four-door car at BMW. You know, that same obsession with detail that we had on the exterior, we had even more so on the interior. Definitely the best 7 Series ever done in terms of interior quality. You only see things that have been designed. So we've designed not only the little details themselves, but the experience of sitting in a 7 Series. New York City is a great location to actually launch the 7 Series. To be home in the city, but also to have the, the outside world and the countryside here, and of course a great racetrack. And of course the journalists are really seeing something that uh, I think is very, very special as a result. The new BMW 7 Series is very important to us, of course, because it is the flagship. This car is particularly important to us because we feel we've really taken the definition of what a 7 Series is actually quite a bit further than we have in the past. It's uh, really the first time that we address the 7 Series as a symbol of modern luxury. So it really is what you've known always, the 7 Series, dynamic, athletic, sporty, it looks muscular, but at the same time we talk about luxury, you know, level of finesse and quality and attention to detail that we've never seen before on a 7 Series. And some of the examples you can see of this, this obsession with, with detail, if you look at the front, first the kidneys, they're not only very big, very present, very proud, but it's the first time that we actually do kidneys that open and close. And kidneys are really the heart of any BMW in terms of design. So we've made a very important innovation, really visible and something you can experience right away when you look at it. Another thing I'm particularly proud of is that we managed to do the Hofmeister kink in one piece for the first time on a four-door car at BMW. So we've eliminated a very small shot line, but a nonetheless very important shot line. And it's really one piece from the B pillar to the C pillar and coming back. And that was something we invested quite a lot of energy and money in, but exactly what is necessary for an iconic feature like the Hofmeister kink. One of the important aspects from the design point of view of the 7 Series is that this car is much lighter than the previous generation. This car is partly in carbon. It actually has a carbon core in it. So we wanted to show that. So we have a small badge in the B pillar when you open the car, you see a real carbon badge. But also in terms of design, we made sure that the car illustrates that lightness. That's why the, even the body side, has got a lot of big, generous surfaces, but it looks pretty lean and elegant. And also that's a very important characteristic for the 7 Series. Every time we create a car, for me personally, it's very emotional. But when it comes to the 7 Series, to the flagship, I can say that today as we arrived, I saw two white 7 Series with the M Sport pack from a distance, and it felt really very good. So it is, it's something really unique and something that makes my job maybe the best job I could ever have. 
My name is Oliver Halmer. I'm head of interior design of BMW cars and I would like to introduce you in the interior design of the new BMW 7 series which is from our perspective a really exciting interior because of its high-end material quality, high-end craftsmanship and I would like to point out three innovations. First of all our LED panoramic sky roof. The second one is the ambient light pillar where you can just by touching adjust the brightness and the third one and I think it's one of the most important is our touch command is the controller. It's an electronic device which is perfect integrated into the center of the console and by just touching one button you can flip it off and adjust the brightness for instance for the lights or let's change the light color for instance and it's a part of the whole light package which has an influence in the ambient light but as well in the LED panoramic roof so at the moment you can see blue light you can choose another color for example green light this tablet is so easy to use you can use it really in a seamless way you can adjust the seats you can adjust for instance the ceiling as you can see and it's so fantastic to use it. And for me as a designer the most exciting in the 7 series is that we combined technical innovation with emotional form language, high end material quality and high end craftsmanship. Welcome to the new BMW 7 series. My name is Stefan Peters. I'm the project manager for human machine interface of this new 7 series. First, I would like to show you the feature to connect the phone to the car and therefore we use near field communication. You can use a compatible phone and you just need to hold this phone with a near field communication technology to the point in the front. It's connecting to the car. You get a confirmation screen on your mobile device. You just need to press the OK button and then your phone is connected. Next, I would like to present our gesture control. For the gesture control, we have a camera up under the roof which is supervising the area above the gear shifter and up to the height of the display. And in the width of the center console, you can do gestures. And I would like to show you all these gestures. First, you can control the volume just by turning your finger clockwise to increase the volume or turning counterclockwise to decrease the volume. The second gesture, which is always working, is a customizable gesture. And we call it the two gesture. And with the two gesture, you just need to do it like this. And in this case, it's selecting the next title. And we can customize this gesture with different features. For example, here I select the turn off control display. And if you do the gesture, you can switch the display off and you can switch it back on again. And for example, you can have the gesture with starting route guidings back to your home address. We can even use gesture for an incoming call. Check, like I get a phone call right now. And I can accept it just pointing and pulling back. If I do not want to accept this phone call, I just need to swipe to the right. Another gesture which we use is for the camera system. If we have the parking system active, there's an easy way to turn your car 360 degrees around. And I just need to grab a point and swipe it to the left or to the right. And in this way, you can adjust the camera perspective to the perfect view if there's a curb or anything else beside you. Now I would like to introduce the intelligent safety button. It is located in the center of the dashboard. And by pressing this button that you can see that all the assistance systems are active. By pressing this button again, you can select your individual mode. And what you can do with the individual mode, you can customize it to your personal needs. There are a couple features which you can adjust in the settings menu for the intelligent safety button. For example, we have the pedestrian warning, front collision warning, lane departure and blind spot detection. And when you switch one of these systems off, your ring will turn into orange. When you have the individual mode active and you want to switch back to the all on mode, you just need to press the button twice and then you go back to the all on mode and the green has turned green, which means that all systems are active and working. Last but not least, I would like to introduce our new display key. When we have the display key, 
This is a key fob with a general functions like you will find in all other key fobs for the trunk, for locking, unlocking the car and for the alarm. But what is new with our display key is this area. And with this one, you get information about the car, like a status of how you left the car. Just to imagine, when you lock the car with the key, information will be transferred to the key about the latest status. And then when you're at home and you want to double check, uh, you can go into the key and look what's the status of the car, like it is secured. You can even have a look if the windows are closed or the sunroof. You can even get maintenance information. Or I can check if I left my lights on and if I need to go back to switch it off. As well available, we have the fuel range of the car. So you can double check in the evening if you need to fill up the car when you want to drive off early in the morning, for example. Next, we are able to activate the ventilation. Uh, with a range up to 300 feet, we can directly activate this ventilation with this button or we can even set up a time to start ventilation early in the morning. For the new display key, we use kind of two battery system. One is for the general function and the other one is for the display. So if you imagine while using the display a lot and your battery is drained and the display shuts off, all the general functions of the key fob will still remain. And if your battery is drained and you want to charge your display key, you can easily put your display key into the wireless charging adapter, which is located in the center armrest. And you place your key inside there and it will um, automatically charge. If your phone is capable for wireless charging, you can even charge your phone within this wireless charging pocket. This sums up five out of 13 innovations for the seven series segment here in the US. My name is Wolfgang Hund, and during the development of this car, I was responsible for driving dynamics and driver assistance systems. That includes all the chassis technology, all the chassis innovations we put into that car, all the precision we strove for, and all the innovation we made for driver assistance system. The feature I'm proud of the most is that we put sportiness and comfort together. From the engineering perspective, it's a bit of uh, squaring the circle, you know, because normally if you improve sportiness, you lose comfort, white tires and things like that. And on the other hand, if you try to improve comfort, you lose sportiness on a car because it rolls and does things like that. Really, to, to help this sparing the circle, we put something in there, it's the adaptive mode. And if you activate the adaptive mode by pressing this button, then the car adapts to your driving profile. So additionally, it uses navigation data for that, for preparing in an optimal way for the next curve. And this adaptive mode makes it possible that you can change only by the way you steer the car or you use the pedal, you can change the mode and it's completely automatically doing. The other thing is, from time to time, there are traffic conditions where riding is not always fun. And there it's helpful if the car is able to assist you to make it more relaxed and more easily done for you. Imagine these traffic jam situations in the morning, four lanes, three of them moving slow, one uh, is not moving anymore. And in this situation, this car is able to do most of the job for you. You only monitor what the car is doing. You can sit over here, completely relaxed. The car is stopping for you, the car is re-accelerating for you, and the car is keeping you in the lane. The system does that up to 130 miles per hour. The driver assistance is activated by some single buttons over here. You just press the button, and the system starts to work, and it shows you whether it has enough information from the road to keep you in lane and enough information from the navigation system to keep you in lane. And the system shows you whether it's adjusted to the traffic situation, then it's displaying green. But if it's needing your full assistance, for example, because there are no street markings anymore on the street, then it will show it to you by a beep and a red sign and you can fully control the car. The adaptive mode is one of the 13 major innovations the all-new BMW 7 Series brings to the US market and none of our competitors have.